Welcome to the channel, everybody. What we're going to be doing is taking apart a Glock. So we're going to make sure there's no magazine. We're going to go ahead and lock back the slide. Check the chamber. Chamber is empty. Gun is safe. So I'll go ahead and point it in a safe direction. Pull the trigger. And then go ahead and slightly pull your side back. Pull both of the tabs down. Slide your side forward. Take it off. Slide your recoil spring up and out. Pull your barrel up and out. And go ahead and set your slide down. For here, what we're going to be doing is taking out your slide stop pin. And to do that, what we want to do is hold it with one hand and jiggle it as we push it through. And it comes through fairly easy. Next is your lock and block pin at the top. No jiggling needed. That one you just push it on out. And we go ahead and take our slide stop, slide lock, sorry, and uh, pull it on out. Take our locking block, pull it on up and out. And onto our trigger housing pin. Push it on out. And then take your trigger housing with your trigger assembly, pull it on up. And take your trigger bar, which is in your trigger housing, pull it slightly forward and at an angle. Sorry, it's kind of off camera. And uh, take it on out. And there's a little spring, your trigger spring. Take that off. And that attaches to your trigger housing. Take it off. And it should look like an S when it's connected. So reconnect it. And take your trigger assembly and go ahead and reconnect it to your trigger spring. And as we insert it back into the trigger housing, what we want to do is pull it forward slightly and kind of angle it. And it slips inside that notch there. And make sure your trigger bar is up underneath your trigger connector. And we're going to go ahead and put this thing back in. So go put in your trigger housing. Push it on down till it stops. And we're going to take our locking block. Push it on in. Put it down. And go ahead and take the top pin. We're going to put the top pin in first. And if you can't push it in, use the back of your Glock tool or punch tool, whatever you're using. And go ahead and push it on in. Don't use hammers. Don't use hammers on these pins, please. Next, we're going to take our slide stop. And the spring goes up and underneath that pin. And then you want to go ahead and line up the hole. And take your slide stop pin, one with the grooves on it, and put it on in. And as you put it in, gently wiggle the slide stop around, and the pin goes in a lot easier. And you're going to take your trigger housing pin and put it on in, and go ahead and even it up. If all your pins are looking good and nice and even, it's time to reassemble the slide. Go and put your barrel back in. Take your recoil spring. Put the front end, push it on down, making sure it's fully seated. Line up the slide tabs with the rails. Give it a function check, rack it, safe direction, pull the trigger. That's all there is to it. 